All we've all been Derek Carr fans. I mean, let's be honest. He's been loyal to the team. He's been around for almost a decade now, and he's been the most consistent piece on this football team. But at the same time, he also told Raider fans that he would retire if he wasn't a Raider. He wanted to stay a Raider in, throughout his entire career. He wasn't going to go anywhere unless it was going to be the golf course. That's what I heard. That's what I heard Derek Carr say. I remember hearing a quote last year. It was, hate the sin, love the men, or love the men, hate the sin, whichever way it was. But at the end of the day, I got to bring that quote back because apparently Derek Carr is going back on his word and he's saying he isn't going to retire, that he still is going to want to play because he has a competitive drive and that we could potentially trade him. And we're going to get into it more in this video, man. But like I said, love the man, hate the sin. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you want to see more videos like this, man. Now, y'all know I've been critical of Carr, and I don't think he's a bad quarterback. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about what the Raiders could potentially get for him in a trade. Not only that, what was also brought up today, this morning, Happy New Year's to everybody, January 1st, 2023. What's going on now? It's a new year, a new vibe. Is that what we're going to get from the Raiders? Because apparently Derek Carr is willing to move on because he got that competitive drive and he wants to stay in the league. He wants to be on a football team to where he can go win some football games. Now, ultimately, ultimately, last year it was said that we could have potentially got two first round picks for Derek Carr. And now that value has dropped. But now the value was talking about a first round pick and something like a third round pick. Now, this is coming from Raider Scout. Of course, there was other outlets as well. If y'all don't follow him, make sure to do so on Instagram. But this had come out. And I believe every word because, look, I didn't think he was telling the truth when he was said he would retire as a Raider. If we were to ever move on with him and he's still able to play the game, I don't see him retiring. I don't know. any. There's not many football players that would retire that early, especially at the quarterback position to where you could go on so many years because you're not taking those kind of hits like other players like, Luke Keekley or a Patrick Willis at the linebacker spot or running back to where your career is only five to six years long. So when he was saying he was going to retire already, I didn't really believe it wholeheartedly. But at the same time, I understood what he was trying to say. And it was pretty much he just wanted to stay here. He wanted to stay with one team. And why wouldn't why wouldn't you? You know, one of his favorite players was Kobe. Kobe stayed on the Lakers. He took them to championships with and without Shaq. So I can see where he's going with that. He would, of course, I would want to stay on one team, retire with that same team, win with that same team. That's the best way to have a legacy. But I don't think that's going to be the case because now Derek Carr is going to be moved on and he's going back on his word. I mean, let's be honest. He lied. Love the man, hate the sin. And lying is a sin. Let me tell you, man. And to know what else is sin is choosing a damn player over the Raiders. Yes, I'm about to get on some of these fans, man, because I see some of y'all. Talking some ish, and boy, it is pathetic. Let me tell you right now. It is pathetic. It is sad, sad, sad day in Raider Nation. When you see Raider fans hoping Derek Carr forces a cut or forces his way out so the Raiders don't get any compensation for him, we have content creators out here really pushing a narrative, hoping that Derek Carr screws the Raiders over so we don't get anything, so he could benefit somehow. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You call yourself a Raiders fan, and this is why people have problems with car stands. Because you say you're a Raider fan, but you're blatantly choosing Derek Carr's, um, what should we say? Being biased to Derek Carr's benefits or whatever he could gain from this. And honestly, he wouldn't even gain anything if we cut him because he won't get a contract like we gave him. He's not going to go into his first year with his new team getting $35 million. He's, he's not going to get that from anybody. Nobody's going to sign him to a contract like that. He will get a contract, but not making 35 in his first year. So him getting traded to a new team would lock him in for about $40 million. Why would he want to lose out on that? Because we would get picks in return, and you hope we cut him so we don't get those picks? It's mind-blowing. So you want the Raiders to lose out because you're upset because Carr is going to leave. So you're choosing Carr over the shield. And if you run into these Raider fans, if you see these Raider fans, y'all need to check them. Y'all need to let them know. Y'all not a real Raider fan, bro. You're just a Carr stands. You're just here, you're just here for Carr. And you could go with him if that's how you really feel. Because that's pathetic. That's pathetic. You wouldn't want your team to get compensation for Derek Carr. Because you're upset that we're going to let him go. 
Y'all got to look in the mirror, man, and really ask yourself, are you really a Raiders fan? Are you? Ask yourself, because that's that's sad. That's sad. And as far as the draft picks, if we get a first and a third for Derek Carr and we save $30 million, are you guys fucking kidding me? So you're telling me we could potentially have two first-round picks in this draft, an extra third or an extra second or third-day pick, and gain $30 million in this offseason for free agency or to re-sign Jacobs, keep Waller, bring in any quarterback to be surrounded by talent? Use that $30 million to bring in a top-tier defensive player plus a top-tier, most likely top-tier offensive lineman with whatever cash is left. Oh, that's only from the 30 mil we would say from Derek Carr. That's not considering the other like roughly 30 million that we already have to the side in free cap space going into next year. And whatever adjustments we make or any restructuring. So y'all gotta really take a deep look into your into your fandom as far as a Raiders fan. And really ask yourself, are you here for Derek Carr and you and you want to lose out on, on compensation because you're upset with how we handled Carr's situation? And I don't respect how we handled it, but it doesn't mean I want our team to take a take a blow for this. Like, I don't know. It's sad, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments, though, what you guys think about the Carr situation. What is his value right now? What do you think about him going back on his word saying he wants to retire a Raider and he's going to hit the golf course uh, if he doesn't stay a Raider? But now all of a sudden he's ready to move on and go to another team. Y'all let me know that in the comments about that too. And are you a real Raiders fan? Because if you are, make sure to hit that like button, y'all. Y'all mean? And until next time, Raider Tate.